Can we fling satellites to space without rockets? On a dusty New Mexico plane, a charcoal black disc 50 meters wide spins faster than the eye can track. Inside, an electric arm whirls a 3 meter projectile until it tops 8 plus 000 km per hour, then snaps open, hurling the capsule skyward with a thunderclap louder than a jet takeoff. This is Spin Launch, a startup betting that centrifugal force, more carnival ride than rocket, can lob satellites halfway to orbit using pure kinetic energy. Traditional boosters burn tons of kerosene, Spin Launch's vacuum sealed centrifuge uses renewable electricity promising launch costs under $500 kilo. In 2022 the company's first suborbital test flung instrument slabs to 90 kilometers, surviving 10 plus 000 gram. Engineers are now machining carbon fiber shells that fold solar panels like origami, designed to ignite a small steerable thruster only after they punch through the thin upper atmosphere. Skeptics note that electronics must endure forces that liquefy solder, and launch windows shrink to windless mornings. Yet NASA's Flight Opportunities Program has already booked payload slots, and the Pentagon eyes the system for rapid deployed surveillance CubeSats. If full-scale shots succeed, entire constellations could leave Earth with almost no combustion plume, an orbital slingshot echoing Da Vinci's catapults, aimed at the stars.